What's up guys, this is a nice Tice coming at you from Tice Breaker Cards and today we got something a little different. We got a retail sports card hunting video. I'm right here at Five Below right now. It was just at Dollar Tree. They didn't really have anything. But uh, I don't know why I didn't start the video earlier, but we're at Five Below right now. We got a couple stops to go after that. I'm not gonna film inside just cause that's weird. But um, I might take a picture see if uh, the shelves are either empty or full and uh, show you what's up but yeah five below oh, you can't see that five below there we go all right let's get it all right that was a bust again too um i don't even know where they would even have them in there i i asked her where the sports cards were and she just kind of pointed in a general direction and i looked all over there and they they didn't have any so if they had the shelf where like you know they had the empty tags that said you know tops here or something then i would have taken a picture of it but they just they didn't have it in there i'm off to walmart now um i'll take a picture in there to see if the shelves are full or empty my mom was in there yesterday and she said they were completely empty so i mean if there's even a sign of baseball cards in there then that means they usually restock around tuesday morning so, um, I don't know. I guess we'll see. They'll either be really empty or really full. So, uh, let's go. <sighs> Cue the Penguin Zero clip, because woo! Yeah, baby, that's what I was waiting for. Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. Woo! We got a pack of NBA hoops premium. I, man, I have no idea whether they stocked the shelves this morning and they just literally just ran out or if my mom didn't even like see this. But I mean, I told her to get any NBA hoops or like literally any basketball cards at all, any football cards at all, and look for Topps Holiday. That's what I told her. But I don't know, maybe she just didn't see this. But um, we got it. We got one. So this is a uh, this is a success. This is the most success I've ever had retail hunting. I've done a couple trips before, like four or five of them, and I've I've never had any luck before. I went to Big Lots once and they had a bunch of Topps Heritage, but I didn't feel like spending $6 a pack on Topps Heritage. I mean, but um, I'm more than happy to grab one of these, but uh, we still got a few more stops to go. We got some Walgreens, some CVS, so let's go. All right, we're at our next stop. This is Big Lots. It's just a couple of minutes away from uh, the plaza that I was just in, which had all three of the previous locations, Dollar Tree, Walmart, and uh, Five Below. But uh, let's see if we can get anything in here. Last time they had, like I said, they had a bunch of heritage. So if there's any in there, I might get a pack. Maybe not. I don't know. I guess we'll see. But uh, if they have any 2020 update, I'll take a fat pack of those maybe. I don't know, man. Guess we'll see. All right, just got out of Big Lots. I am now in the parking lot of Walgreens, which is gonna be my next stop. But before I show you in there, I got two of these from Big Lots. These were $5 each. Comes with uh, one Top Series 1 2019, which I know that's it's not the best year, but there's also a 2019 Heritage in there, plus one bonus card, which I mean, they had a bunch of these, so, I mean, I don't know. I just didn't really want to come out empty-handed, so I got I got two of them. But uh, let's go into Walgreens, and I, I literally see CVS right across the street, right there. So, Walgreens, and then CVS, and then we got another CVS, and then that's going to be the, uh, the trip. So, let's go. All right, they literally had nothing in there as far as like any baseball or basketball. So that was that was a bust, but um, next up is CVS, like I showed you before, and then another CVS. I don't know why they have two CVSs within like three minutes of each other, but plus a Walgreens as well. <laughs> but um, yeah, after that, I need some gas because I have less than a eighth of a tank left. So 
Yeah. All right, just came out of Walgreens. They had nothing in there. I don't even think they even sell sports cars in there. Um, I didn't see any. Uh, I don't. I didn't see any tags for like where they would have the any baseball or basketball or anything. But they did have two Pokemon tins. I didn't get those because I'm not really into Pokemon, but. They had two little mini Pokemon tins in there, but that's about it. So on to the next CVS, which is like three minutes away from here. And I'll see you guys then. Much better. All right, CVS didn't really work out. Um, there really wasn't any parking. and It, it just looked really crappy. Uh, not very, I don't know high end I guess kind of looked like they were about to go out of business so I just got gas and then I came to another Walgreens I just went in they didn't have anything so uh I think it's time to just go home still got to go to the post office my dad asked me to but yeah and now uh, we can go and open all right I am back home now at my desk ready to open these up especially this one which means that you know we're gonna save it for last um but I tried to record as much as I could without, you know, being weird and like having everyone look at me. Like, what is this guy doing? He's taking pictures of shelves and recording, you know. You know, I'm kind of like socially awkward anyway. And then on top of like everyone looking at me just recording shit, that just, I don't know. I, I don't want to do that. <laughs> but um, anyways, we're back home now. We got these two um blister packs i believe there is there's obviously a 2019 series one in here and i believe this pack is going to be a heritage 2019 heritage or uh something like that but uh yeah i guess let's start with one of these oh by the way i have the receipts here we spent these were five dollars each and then the NBA hoops was ten eighty, so we spent about twenty dollars on these three uh, things right here. So not bad, especially considering you could sell this for like thirty bucks on eBay. But you know, I real I this is my first ever NBA hoops opening, like ever. You know, before I used to just get like the five dollar mix packs from like Target or. Uh, Walgreens or something so you know this is gonna be pretty cool but anyways let's get into the cards oh there is a an extra card in here so we got Eric Lauer I don't know if that's a purple parallel or if it's just like that it's not numbered so I don't know well, there we go. Eric Lauer is our extra card. If I can get these packs out, there we go. And then we obviously have our 2019 Series 1 with 10 cards and a 2019 Heritage. So there you go with 9 cards. Let's do Heritage first, I guess. Or, you know what, nah, let's do Series 1 first. Everyone seems to talk this set down a lot, which is really unfortunate because it has it probably has one of my favorite pack arts ever. I mean, I'm obviously a Yankees fan. So, I mean, Aaron Judge and Babe Ruth on the same cover. That's pretty cool, but, you know, not everyone likes it. But um, let's see here. We got Corbin Burns, rookie. Ray Black rookie, Jacob Nix rookie, a lot of rookies here. We got LA Dodgers Stadium, and then we got Boston's Boys for Red Sox. Just put the base here, I guess. We got Chase Anderson, Reese Hoskins. Jesus, you're gonna make me flip them over every other card, Mitch. Hanager. I hope I said that right. Aaron Hicks. There we go. There's a Yankee. And a Brandon Nimmo or Nemo, something like that. So 
I think this is a purple parallel, right? I don't know. Or wait, this isn't 2019. What am I? Oh, this is a 2020 card, right? Hold on. Yeah, this is a 2020 card. I, I have no idea if this is a parallel or not. But uh, let's try and get some of this on the screen. So we got our packs there. We got a rookie pile. We got a rookie pile. And then base pile. And then we'll assume this is a parallel. We'll put that there. All right, on to Heritage. 2019 Heritage. Got Bryce Harper on the back there. That's pretty cool. All right. We got Mike Leak. Is that how you say it? Hopefully. Shane Green. We got Rays rookies. Andrew Val Velasquez and Nick Quifo. Cute Kofo? I don't know. I don't know why I said the bottom name first. That was weird. But we'll put that in the rookie pile, I guess. We got American League ERA leaders. Blake Snell, Trevor Bauer, and Justin Verlander. We got uh, Alex Bregman. I don't know. New Age Performers insert. That's pretty cool. And then Hernan. Hernan what? Hernan. Oh, Perez. I thought that said Pereg at first. I thought that was a G. I'm like, what? Hernan Perez. And we got rookies for the Astros. Uh, Framber Valdez, Josh James, and Dean Dietz for the Astros. And then we got Dansby Swanson. And, of course, our Bryce Harper. That's a pretty cool one. I like that. Bryce drew... Bryce drew five unintentional walks at Miami. Wow. That's cool. I like that card. On to our second blister. All right. So our... So this looks purple. So this is purple as well. Nolan Arenado. There we go. Just put that there, I guess. And then, all right, we're gonna do series one again first. All right, we got Robbie Ray, uh, Jan Gomez. We got Heath Fillmeyer rookie. We got Harrison jo or Josh Harrison, my bad. <laughs> we got Sean Reed Foley rookie. Javier Baez, there we go, league leaders card. Adam Eaton. Mike Z Zanino. Future stars Shane Bieber. This is his first year card. Yeah, it looks like it. Not his rookie card, but his like first year card. That's cool. That's pretty cool. And then Chris Taylor. Nothing really good so far, but I mean, what do you expect? It's like one of the worst sets ever. I'm really, I'm really waiting for this right here. So we got 2019 Heritage next. All right, we got Archie Bradley, Jared Hughes. Piles are getting pretty messy. All right, Tyler Mayle. Is that how you say it? Yeah, I guess so. Maybe. Stevens. I can barely read this cursin cursive. Steven Sosa Jr. Okay. And then we got a Glaber Torres All-Star. Oh, this is a canvas card. Okay. I'm going to sleeve that up. That's a pretty cool one. I'll save this for the PC. We got the Golden Cup card of Glaber Torres. And this is a uh, canvas. Nice. Oh, just hit the camera, why don't you? 
guess that's fine. It's my camera. I can do whatever I want with it. Derek Rodriguez. Hunter Renfro. And when Puig's fly. That's a cool insert. Uh, Yaziel Puig, obviously. And then, uh, I don't even know. Teoscar Hernandez, maybe? I don't know. I probably I probably butchered so many names, but um, on to the main event of the video, probably what everyone was waiting for, probably what everyone skipped ahead for <laughs> in the video. All right, the question is, do I do the lasers first or last? Because I mean, I'm gonna sleeve up all the lasers, no matter who they are, just because they look absolutely incredible. But um. Actually, before I get into it, I'm, I'm going to make you wait a little longer. I got a little story about NBA hoops. So I just entered my first ever break uh, just a couple days, actually yesterday. I bought it yesterday. It was on today. Uh, I paid for the Hornet spot in five NBA hoops uh, mega boxes. I paid about $20 for it, not knowing that LaMelo Ball's rookie card was not in NBA hoops 2020 premium stock set it's only in prism in the prism draft picks i was very sad to hear that <laughs> but it's okay i got a couple pj washington's and uh, a couple other rookies some bismack biombos i'm just not a huge hornets fan um but what are you gonna do uh so i guess let's do I guess we're gonna do this pack first, I guess. I mean, I think we're gonna get more, I think we're gonna get better stuff in here, but it just, I don't know. I feel like I should always leave like this type of pack for last, the bonus pack for last. But uh, in here, we're obviously looking for Zion. He's on the cover there. We're looking for Ja. We're looking for uh, Tyler Hero. We're looking for RJ Barrett for the Knicks. I like the Knicks. Just because they're New York. I mean, I'm not a huge NBA fan, but if I had to choose my favorite NBA team, it would probably be the Knicks. So we got Kevin Herter? Herter? I don't know. Here we go. We got a KD. Kevin Durant. We got a Kemba Walker. Carol, Carl Anthony Towns. Cat. We got Andre Robertson. John Wall, Grant uh, Williams, rookie. Put him over here, I guess. Uh, Jalen Lequeu, rookie. Allen Iverson, insert. We got KZ Okpala. Okpala. I don't know if I said that right. I think. Oh, this is a silver, right? Maybe. I can barely tell what what's a silver and what's not a silver in the set, but. He's a rookie. And we got Mark Gasol Green and a backstage pass of Kawhi Leonard. So there we go. That was pretty cool. Uh, these are all our rookies. And then this is a green. Yeah, I'll sleeve it up anyway. All right. Our lasers now. Here we go, boys. Imagine if we could pull a Zion laser. That would be fucking amazing. We got a Laker here. I don't know. I didn't see the name. But what if we pulled a LeBron Laker? A LeBron Laser. We got... Shy. Uh, Gilgas Alexander. We got Shy Gilgas Alexander. There we go. I tried, tried my best with that name. We got Chris Middleton. And our Laker is gonna be... J.R. Smith. Not that bad. Not too bad. I like the background there. But uh, here we go, boys. That's going to be that pack. And that, that's going to be a, just about the video. Let me sleeve all these up. I kind of like KD. Yeah, I'm going to sleeve this KD. Oh, I got something to show you. What do you think of this card, huh? There we go. Kevin Durant, 2007, is it 2007? 2007 tops, Kevin Durant, rookie card. 
Look at that. This is going for about, I think it was going for about $80 at one point. If I keep it, it could be worth more. I mean, it's a, it's kind of scuffed up a little bit. Like, there's some smudgy stuff on this corner right here. But I mean, it was in a Target bag just flying around for how many years? <laughs> uh, and like I said, I never really opened any specific set packs of NBA cards. I just kind of got the $5, like, you know, ass unassorted cards from Target or Walgreens. And I happened to pull this. I guess we'll do a little recap here. So we got all of these base cards of 2019, uh, either Series 1 or Heritage. There we go. And then we got a couple baseball rookies. I'm going to put these in the binder with the other baseball rookies. We got uh, these two. I would assume they were purple parallels, but I don't know. They're not numbered. But we got these two guys. This one I really like. This is probably my favorite card. Um, the Glaber Torres uh, Golden Cup card in a canvas, and there's a there's a hair in there, I think. Oh, no, it's not. Never mind. Glaber Torres Golden Cup card with a uh, canvas finish to it. And then we got all of these cards that I sleeved up. Most of them are rookies, but we got the KD. We got rookie, 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 backstage pass Kawhi Leonard. And then we got a green Marc Gasol, and then obviously our lasers, J.R. Smith laser. So yeah. And then we got, I almost forgot about these, the base uh, prism, or not prism, NBA hoops. And then obviously we got this one again. So <laughs> there we go. I guess that's going to do it for this video. So there we go. Um, let me know if you want more of this. Um, I think I could do a little better as far as, you know, quality goes. Uh, you know, filming and everything. But this is my first time, like, ever really doing any kind of vlog at all. So look at my cat on the bed. She looks so cute. That's Prancy, by the way. You may have seen her in a couple of my other videos. <laughs> Mostly on the main channel, the, the Nice Tice channel, on my gaming channel, but she's so cute. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about you. Hey, you're a shithead. And I love you. Alright, I guess that's gonna do it for this video. It's been the Nice Tice from Tice Breaker Cards, and I'll see you in the next one.